We recently spent three days in Wales, mostly exploring the northern part of the country. We started by crossing Prince of Wales Bridge from England to South Wales. As soon as we arrived, we started driving towards north part of the country. Our first stop was a Scanfried Castle. It is a ruined castle in the village of Scanfield. The fortification was established by the Normans to protect the route from Wales to Hereford. If you want to learn more about the castle, please watch a video on my channel dedicated to Scarfield Castle and its history. You will find the link in the description below. As we were driving towards north, the weather was getting better and we started enjoying Welsh landscape. Next stop, Powys Castle. It is a medieval castle, fortress and grand country house near Welshpool, Powys, Wales. The castle is surrounded by beautiful gardens. We were also lucky to spot some animals, so the kids were over the moon after this visit. Next, we visited Chirk Aqueduct. It is located in Chirk, Wrexham, on the England-Wales border. The aqueduct is 70 foot high and 710 foot long. The aqueduct was designed by civil engineer Thomas Telford for the Ellesmere Canal. The foundation stone was laid on 17 June 1796 and it was completed in 1801. It has a cast iron trap within which the water is contained. We took a short walk to admire the aqueduct and went back to the car. As we started approaching Snowdonia, we already knew that it was perfect destination for a long weekend. Just look at this spot. It was getting late, so we started heading towards our accommodation, which was in town called Barmouth. On the way, on the top of the hill, we spotted a castle, so we decided to stop. It was Herlek Castle. It was late, so the castle was already closed. We watched the sunset and left. We were all very tired, we checked into the room and went to sleep. We started the morning filling up on a classic breakfast at the hotel and then made our way over to petrol station and then to Cricket Castle. Nice castle ruins with stunning views, definitely worth the visit. If you want to learn more about the castle, please follow the channel not to miss the video that will be posted next week dedicated to Crated Castle, fulfilled with history of this place and stunning views.
we got a little bit lost when trying to reach next destination and this happened. Of course no one got hurt and kids were super excited seeing cows running outside the car. Before we started exploring next destination, we had a quick lunch. The estate that we visited consists of a small house of Georgian style, a garden of just under one acre in size and many wooded acres. The estate overlooks the beach, so again, we had some stunning views from the above. We then made our way to Snowdonia to get on the Snowden Mountain Railway. We pre-booked our tickets, so all we had to do is to turn up and join the queue. The round trip to the summit and back took approximately two and a half hours in total, including the 30 minute stopover. However, it was super cold and windy, so most of the people were back on the train after just 15 minutes. with the visit to the Penryn Castle. One of my favorite facts about Wales is that it has more castles per square mile than any other country in the world. Penryn Castle is a country house in North Wales constructed in the style of a Norman castle. The castle contains a one-ton slate bed, which was designed especially for Queen Victoria when she paid visit to the site in 1859. The castle is also a home to one of the finest art collections in Wales. After visiting the castle, we made our way to Snowdonia National Park and enjoyed some more unique locations within this beautiful place before we left the North Wales. And this is the weather that we came back to. North Wales was definitely a good choice for the long weekend. Meantime, this happened in London.